Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. I'm going to go through my energy stats from last month, April 2019. As you can see in the picture on the left, my Tesla app told me that my household was 100% self-powered. Quick reminder, I live in Sydney, Australia with my family of four. We have an 8.4 kilowatt solar array coupled with a 13.5 kilowatt hour Tesla Powerwall 2 battery. April is autumn in Sydney. We experience average temperatures of 16 to 25 degrees Celsius. We received 7.7 .7 hours of sunshine per day on average. Please note these figures don't include charging my Tesla. I'm on a special $1 per day electric car charging plan with my power company, which allows me to charge as much as I want for $1 per day. These two pictures tell me how much solar I produce. The picture on the left is from my Enphase microinverter app, and that tells me that I produced 950 kilowatt hours of solar over the month of April, of which 540 kilowatt hours was exported back to the grid, and we consumed 410 kilowatt hours. That also includes uh, the Tesla Powerwall 2 charging. The picture on the right is from my Tesla app, and uh, it tells me that we produced 899 kilowatt hours. Why the discrepancy? I think it's because the uh, Tesla app takes into account the last four weeks, whereas uh, the Enphase app takes into account the whole month. So my Tesla app tells me that 28.1% of that was used for the home directly, 18.1% was used to charge the Powerwall 2, and the remainder, over 50%, was exported back to the grid. This slide tells me that my home used 338 kilowatt hours over the month of April, of which 74.6% came from solar directly, and 24.7% was from the Powerwall 2 when the sun went down. 0.7% came from the grid, which I'm happy with. The picture on the right tells me that I only used 2.3 kilowatt hours from the grid in April, and I exported 537 kilowatt hours back to the grid. You might be asking at this point, why my house uses 2.3 kilowatt hours? Why do I use any grid energy at all? Well, let me show you this video here. So this is me tracking the energy from this morning. As you can see, even though uh, the Powerwall 2 is covering most of my usage, it still consumes very small amounts of energy from the grid. Now, very small amounts of energy is used from the grid uh, when the Powerwall 2 is basically trying to cover the uh, house requirements in real time. So I guess the Powerwall 2 detects how much it needs from the house and then covers it by discharging straight away. But in that very few brief microseconds, there is some energy from the grid. So that kind of adds up over time and eventually becomes 2.3 kilowatt hours over the whole month. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about my stats. Tell me how you went this month with your renewables. Stand by now for my hashtag Rose to Down Under pledge. And as always, happy charging. I do solemnly promise, should I win a Roadster 2020 in Tesla's new referral program, to list this vehicle on an electric car sharing platform to allow all Australians an opportunity to drive this magnificent car as part of a greater effort to bring the electric vehicle to this great nation. Hashtag Roadster Down Under. Help me by using my referral code Thomas7208.